Well, hello, I'm Chris, and this is my Before You Buy a GM One Wire Alternator video. Now, we're going to be talking about some other stuff, too. I'm going to show you wiring in a diode on the number one position. Okay, but the main point of this video is understanding and knowing that a one wire alternator is the way that you want to go. Now, this is a typical situation on most cars. 70 Chevelle, I've converted to an internally regulated system. Now, that's how the wiring will be on your car. And they say that, of course, it's going to clean up the engine bay. That does make a lot of sense because you only have one wire going to it. But you really need to understand what you're going to sacrifice by getting the one wire because now you're not going to have your charging light feature. Now let's look at a couple of vehicles and see what that charging light is just so we really understand what it is. We're in the 88 G20 van. You see that little battery? Turn our ignition on. We got 12 volts and our charging light battery light gen light is on right now all these alternators have that feature as soon as we start it up and it, it, uh, we got the exciter wire hooked up on this van it's going to immediately start charging and our gen charging volt battery light is going to go off see we're charging instantly charging light goes off not charging 12 volts again okay so now we're in my 03 same thing we got a little battery light that light's going to come on when it's not charging same thing in an 03 okay now we're in a 2017 where's that battery light there you go when it starts charging okay Okay, so I got a flat tire, I need an oil change, and it's 99 degrees outside. It is like seven o'clock right now, that's ridiculous. So the point of that is, so we understand what the dummy light or charging light is. So the one exception would be if your car does not have a charging light or dummy light. This 70 Chevelle with gauges, it has the amp meter, you know, the analog gauges, does not in fact have a dummy light, charging light, or battery light. The fact that this does not have a charging light, means that a one wire alternator would be 100 percent fine on a car like this that does not have the battery charging light but you see why because it was a factory gauge car with an amp meter that is actually the number one main thing that you got to know and i see so many people completely overlook it and they ask me hey chris i just got my one wire alternator how do i hook up my gen light my battery light's not working you gave up that feature okay so the only thing you can really run with this is just a voltmeter. This is a simulated one wire. They usually just have that plugged anyway. Okay, so installing a one wire alternator is really, you know, we all understand how to install, you know, that part of the alternator. Okay, so to hook the one wire up, all you got to do is run a wire from that lug back to your positive side of your battery. Or in this car, 70 Chevelle, we have a junctioning block. See it right there? Okay, see how this battery cable's got this little wire coming off of it and the wire goes to our junctioning block so just so that we are all on the same page to wire this alternator up all you gotta do is go from that lug right there back to this that's all that's the only thing you have to wire up on this car we can wire it to a junctioning block in there so let's go ahead and figure out how to go ahead and wire up this three wire um, different ways now it is already understood that that lug only needs to go back to the battery cable this battery cable with this wire you can run that wire straight to there that is 100 percent acceptable as a matter of fact let's go ahead and run it to there now the battery's unhooked make sure you unhook the battery and we are going to run this right over right over there so you can clearly see there are no smoke and mirrors in this video we are running it like that as 100% safe okay so pay attention to this part so you don't ask me questions they're in my video we clearly see that that is running straight to the battery now if you don't have all your wiring in your car you don't even have to worry about the number one position that's an exciter wire that's your dummy light feature if you are gonna run your three wire and you don't care about that you don't need no damn dummy light you know all you're gonna run is a voltmeter then don't hook number one up we're hooking up number two absolutely has to be hooked up i don't even know what would happen i'm not even going to try 
to hook this system up without volt with number two because it may just charge 16 or 17 volts and may burn everything up. I don't know, but I'm not trying. Um, this is the little loop wire you see on the internet and in my videos I talk about just looping it over right here. We're going to demonstrate this because now we got our voltage sensing wire connected straight back to hot. Okay, a lot of people don't like the way I did it in my videos, you know, but that's this is the other option you have. But like I said, to me, this looks like shit. It really, it, it just looks weird to me. But uh, we're going to demonstrate it uh, charging the battery like this. Okay, so this is like the easiest and the fastest, quickest way that you can wire up your alternator. And we see that we got that straight from the battery. We got that looped around. Now we're going to test this and see if it works. Now this is the one where people say it kicks in around 1200 to 2000 RPM. And that's what this one's going to do. So we got the voltage at 1239 on the battery. Now this alternator is bad or something. Only It's only charging at 13.09. So you'll see that, but uh, we're going to start it up, it's going to idle, then we're going to hit the accelerator and it's going to kick in and start charging. Okay. Not charging. Let's just bump it. The way it's hooked up. See, it kind of struggles or it kicks in. Now we're charging. Okay, so you see how it charged without number one hooked up. This is the easiest way, but it kicks in. It kind of hesitates. Sometimes it'll chirp, but it charges perfectly fine. Race car, tractor, dune buggy, wired up like that. On this car, we have factory wiring. So if you were gonna run a one wire alternator, um, these two wires right here are factory you don't you just don't run them but you got to remember that this is a voltage sensing wire so these need to be cut and capped okay you can't leave these if you just leave these out here this this is connected straight to your battery and this is gonna you know arc out and cause all kinds of problems okay so one wire hookup that's all you're doing you're taking your existing wire off your uh, alternator cutting and capping or plugging these two and just screwing that back down Okay, so number one is the exciter wire. It comes on with accessories from your key switch and excites the alternator so it instantly charges and does not have to kick in with that chirp. That chirp is pretty annoying. The voltage sensing just goes back to 12 volts. This is the one where you can loop right there if you have to. But this situation that our car maybe uh, has been messed with or something, but this is wired on with the key and our car stays on. That means that this is... Uh, comes on with the key instead of accessories and what's happening is it's back feeding to ignition back to our coil and keeping our car running now when I talk about the diode I didn't really demonstrate wiring it in so let's let's go ahead and wire the diode into my car the diode is pretty much going to take care of all your problems with your car staying running uh, anything like that you, and that way you can run this off of accessories on or ignition on with the key you do not run this wire constantly hot all the time. It'll drain your battery completely dead. I have other videos going over that. So uh, let's go ahead and put the diode in there and see how we do that. We got the plug right here. We're about to put our wires in. Uh, you just poke this little tab out and they'll stick in there. Blue one, white two. Put the plug in there the right way. So we already have a splice here. We're just gonna cut the insulation off or the heat shrink off. So we're going to take one of our diodes and we're going to put it in series with that little silver thing pointing towards the alternator. Now this only allows electricity to flow in one direction. So that way we can run this on uh, accessories or ignition on with the key and it won't back feed through here and keep our car running. This pretty much is going to eliminate every single problem that you can have with number one position. We're going to go ahead and run this in here just to have it in here no matter what. I mean, this is just the way I'm wiring it. You wire it up however you want. It doesn't matter as long as it's in series with, with this wire. Okay, so just make sure the heat, the heat shrink fits over. All right, we're gonna solder it up to make a permanent connection. Heat this up first. So you feel it getting hot.
Right. So that's where I like to put the diode so anybody that's screwing with this will know the diode's right there. Okay, so that's the point of the one wire video that if you have a car like this with factory amp meter, it doesn't matter. But if you have a gen light, battery light, like all the vehicles we looked at, you may not want to put a one wire alternator in there because you will give up that feature. So we're going to start this car up as dark and you'll see it does not have any gen light on it. that's it for the video if you have any questions feel free to ask other than that if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe thanks for watching